Hello everybody, it's the Film Optimist, and today I'm talking about Cannibal Holocaust. This is, that's a sentence. Holy Peter, if you haven't heard of this movie, get ready to be blown away. This movie's been banned in the U.S. It's been banned in many other countries as well. <clears throat> what, what other countries? Uh, it's been banned... Italy and Australia and several other countries, due to its graphic content, including sexual assault and genuine violence towards animals. Why? <laughs> because all the violence towards animal, animals in the movie is real. Every animal death, too. Uh, from the moment they killed a muskrat, the mood was dreadful, unsettling, and had me cringing. Uh, how could someone bring themselves to kill these animals? Other than that, the acting was pretty mediocre, uh, with most, most of the dialogue looking dubbed. That is, until we near the end. You'll go crazy watching this movie. I, I felt sick to my stomach watching this movie, knowing that it was real. And I watched, I saw one of the scenes years before I saw this movie. Um, let me just tell you what the plot is, because I didn't mention it in the review. Um, Harold Monroe is an anthropo uh, anthropologist from New York University who leads a rescue team into the Amazon rainforest to locate a crew of filmmakers. Uh, um, <clears throat> the crew had gone missing while filming a documentary on local cannibal tribes. When the rescue team is only able to recover the crew's lost cans of film, an American television station wishes to broadcast the footage as a sensationalized television special. Upon viewing the reels, Monroe is appalled by the team's, a by the team's actions and objects to the station's intent to air the documentary. A lot of the animal deaths are in the, the footage that they find, but they do kill a muskrat. It's not really a muskrat. I forgot what the animal is. Um, but yeah, they, they fucking... And the guy got arrested, the director, Ruggiero Diodato. Did he, what, did he, what else did he make? <clears throat> I don't care. Um, it's fucking crazy. He directed this, and then um, because they went missing, he he looked to add realism to it. It's an Italian film. To add realism, he took Carl Gabriel York, Francesca Ciardi, Perry Perkanen, Perkane, and Luca Barbareschi. Barber, Barbareschi. Um, he took all of them, he told them to, like, hide, to, like, add, to, like, to play it up, like, they're, they're really gone. Uh, and he went to court for murder, on murder charges. Like, he really killed them. You can tell by the acting, it's not real. I mean, it, that's the best part of these, ironically, the, the most fucked up shit in this movie is what makes it such a cult film. Um, and makes it so that, like, that's why people like this movie. Straight up, <clears throat> the scene that I saw, okay, so the muskrat, is it a muskrat, I forgot what animal it is, but the guy holds it and he's like, it's a muskrat, and he stabs it with a knife, and then like, because it squirms in his hand, and he kills it. And it's like, wow, that was real, that was a real death, and it's not, like when you see deaths of animals in movies, it's like, huh, like that's, that's sad, but this is real, and you can tell that it's real, it's guttural, it's like, ugh. And I guess like, from this, filmmaker's perspective he's like i need that realism and he's like you don't though that's fucked that's fucked up dude that's really you want that artistic value you want that realism to oh it enhances the other it doesn't in my opinion this movie is garbage and the only i mean i guess he's i guess he's right in a way because that's what people remember this movie for but it's not really a good thing, is it? The scene that I saw with my brother um, years before I actually watched this film was um, it was uh, the turtle scene. So they they get a big Galapagos tortoise. I don't know if it was a Galapagos, but it was a tortoise. They flip it on its back and they peel off the fucking shell's underbelly revealing its little like shaky guts and stuff and, and they they play with it and they put sticks they stick with it and so it's like these actors did this shit legitimately and like they're supposed to pretend that they're having fun they look like they're having a lot of fun like the acting's not that good in this movie they look like they're legitimately having fun playing with this fucking turtle's fucking in innards they um What's fucked is they kill a, a capuchin monkey, I believe. They kill a monkey. Um, they chop his head off. And again, the realism. The, the fucking, the... And then it f falls off. It's like, it's so sudden. Like, the body grows limp. It's like... And um, the fucked up thing about that one is, like... That's the second monkey they used. Because the, the director was like... The, he didn't like the first shot. So he they had him get another monkey to... 
Oh my god. Anyone that worked on this movie, like, I Save for the fucked up director. <sighs> this is a really good scene. It wasn't just the. He didn't go for murder charges just for the, the actors. Um. There was another actor that was a that was a cannibal person. It wasn't an actor. It was a a sculpting of that actor. No, it was an actor. <clears throat> it wasn't a sculpting. It was the actual actor, and they had him sit him or it was her. It was a her. It was a, it was a woman sit on this thing with this this stick like pressed into her back. And, like, with makeup around it and shit to look like it was impaled. And then, uh, out of her, she opened her mouth and, like, put the steak in there. Like, the steak top. So, it looked like she was impaled. And it looks really, really, like, real. It looks very realistic. So, that's part of, like, the evidence. Like, the evidence and shit. And they Phoenix right of that shit. Like, objection. Overruled. <laughs> it's a... F it, this is... And look... Before this, I watched the Human Centipede films. I literally saw a woman crush a baby underneath a, a baby's head, a newborn baby's skull underneath a gas pedal. Fucked up scene, right? But I know it's not real. This movie was, the at the time, the most fucked up that I'd ever seen. Um, it still might... It's still up there for me, actually. Like, I have, I was genuinely, like, disturbed by this film. And it's disturbing <laughs> how bad it is. Like, how bad, like, the acting is very whatever. Like, it's very, it's not memorable at all. It's like, mm -hmm. the guy, he goes, yeah, he does this, and he, yeah. Um, and it's fucking, like, it's the reason, this is one of the reasons we have found footage. A lot of people look at the Blair Witch Project. This film, they found footage, and they make the thing, and it comes off as, like, found, a found footage film. It's very innovative. Um, so that's why we have found footage. That's why we have the fucking Paranormal Activity and all those, all of those movies. Um, this is it. This is like the the granddaddy. I mean, someone else might be like, actually, false, look at this. and Okay, but this one, before Blair Witch Project, did that shit. <clears throat> and again, comes off as a very realistic Actually, I'm a fan of the found footage genre, but this is this ain't it, Chief. This is a, I mean, I said optimist, didn't I? Let me change that. Pessimist. Uh, this is the, <laughs> this is the film pessimist. Uh, it's very fucking disturbing. <clears throat> I'm a fucking troped. Thanks uh, go to my brother Austin Van Alst for requesting uh, this film. Uh, when did I review this shit? 2012. So it was still my, my, my year of Nick's reviews when that started. <sighs> what a fucking, what a fucking year of films this was. Am, am I right? Um, you guys have a good one. I'm gonna end this video now. I was gonna watch, quick, quick update on, I did, I reviewed Cabin Fever. <clears throat> I just found out that there's a prequel and I'm pissed because I like to do it in order. So I have to watch that prequel. I tried to watch it yesterday. My work's Wi-Fi is shit. So probably gonna have to subject my wife to that, uh, to those films. I've never seen the prequel. I've never seen the sequel. I've never seen the remake. Can't believe there's a remake, but I've seen the original. That's, I've reviewed it on this channel. But you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking that bell. Ollie, you want to say bye bye? He looks at me like, did you fucking, are you talking to me? Peace.